Hi and welcome back. In today's video I'm continuing the tutorial on using Little VGL Graphics Library with MCU Expresso IDE and GUI Guider. When we left off last time, GUI Guider had exported the source code and headers for the project. And today I'll import this code into MCU Expresso IDE and into my template Little VGL project named Half Dome Sky. We'll correct the placement of the segments in the 7 segment display and animate the screen. I have two Explorer windows open on my PC. On the left side is the Half Dome Sky project in MCU Expresso's GUI Guider Tutorial Workspace. On the right is the generated code output from GUI Guider. I now need to copy the generated code into my Half Dome Sky project and let's do that now. So in board I have this file little vgl support. It replaces the file in the destination. Custom. These two files replace what's in custom. Generated, all of these files replace what's in generated. And we can see, for example, in images, we have each of the graphics that we used that have been converted into C data structures. Also in the fonts, the guider fonts, we have the Arial Bold that we used in our project. Lastly, in source, we have this little VGL config file. And that's in source. We can drag and drop there. Okay, we replace the file in the destination. Yes, we want to do that. And let's now turn into MCU Expresso. And I'm just going to refresh the project. And we'll see in generated here our images that we used in the project. Okay, well I have one element of changing that I need to make, and that is in the board file little vgl support.h. And it's to do with the screen size. If you remember the example screen, just use the top third of the MIPI panel. I want to use all of that, and I just need to make a few comments here so that the screen size is the full size that we want to use. Well, I can build my project now. Now we want to change all of the segments in that LCD display and position them on the screen in their rightful locations. And that's handled in setup screen main.c. And there's one big function that does all of the configuration of all of the widgets on the screen, setting the colors, the positions, the sizes, and all the various properties. And the final thing that we'll do down here is just configure all of the LED segments. I have some code that will handle that for me. I got these hash defines that just set the screen positions. Let's put that into this project. Here are all of our hash defines. And then in my cut and paste, I use this little VGL object set X position, which widget main image L1G, main image L2F, 
and the coordinate. In this case, setting X is the left hand side and set Y down here is the top position. So there are two lines for each segment. It's left and top location. We can copy that and paste it into MCU Expresso just here. Okay, let's change, let's save it and build the example. So after building our code, we're downloading it to the board. There's a probe discovery, of course, and we'll flash the AXF file to the flash memory on the EVK. As always, we can simply run the code with F8, resume, and our clock now appears on the screen as we would expect. Again, we can test a function of the test button. This is behaving as we would expect. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can programmatically change elements and widgets on our screen. And once we can animate the elements on the screen, I'll show you how we can update the time on the display. I trust that you enjoy these tutorials, and if so, please share them like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.